we're doing problem P6 in preparing a master budget for a water company. And so far we've produced the sales budget, so we know what our total revenue is going to be and how many units we're going to sell. And we've done our production budget, so we know based on sales how many units or bottles of water we need to produce. Now we're going to look at our inputs. Now when I make a bottle of water, there's water inside of it, there's a bottle, there's a label, and there's a cap. So you'll need to do a materials purchase budget for each one of these ingredients. We're going to just be preparing the uh, material purchases budget for the water. Now each one of these bottles of water contain 20 ounces. So notice that once I've determined what my production is in that previous budget, I'm going to multiply it by 20 ounces. And that will give me in ounces how, many, uh, how much water I need to meet my production needs. So 20 times 39,000 means we need 780,000 ounces in the first quarter um, for production. In addition, I need to have a little water on hand so that when the sun rises on the, the first day of the next quarter, that I have some water to keep making those bottles. And the assumption, if you read the fine print in problem P6, says that I want ending material equal to 20% of the next quarter's needs. So I better do the second quarter so that I can find 20% of it. So 32,000 bottles of water, 20 ounces in each bottle, means we need 640,000 ounces of water um, in the second quarter. Oh, let's do the third quarter while we're at it. In the third quarter, remember we said we wanted 50,500 bottles of water produced. Each one has 20 ounces, so that's a total of 1,010,000 ounces of water. A lot of water. Now, ending material inventory, do you remember the percentage? is 20% of the next quarter's needs. So 20% of 640,000 is 128,000. 20% of 1,010,000 is 202 or 202,000. And if I was to do the third quarter, um, based on the fourth, you'd find it was 222,000. So just so you have that. Now, that means my total needs in my first quarter are equal to how much water in the bottle plus how much in the ending inventory gives me 908 ounces of water is what I need in the first quarter. In the second quarter, I have 842,000 ounces of need. And in the third quarter, if I add this up, 1,232,000 ounces of water. Now, if ending inventory is 20% of the next quarter, then beginning inventory would be 20% of this quarter. Uh, in the first quarter, they tell you what it is. So inventory was counted at the uh, end of last year, and on hand, we have 156,000 ounces of water. So if that's the case, should I add or subtract this beginning materials to our needs? You're right, we're going to subtract it. Why? Because that 908,000 ounces of need is met somewhat by our beginning um, material inventory for water of 156,000. So how many ounces of water do you need to go out and buy? Well, I need to buy the difference, which is 752,000 ounces of water. So 908 minus 156 gives you 752. Well, how much does an ounce of water cost? It costs a penny. So when I'm budgeting for my water in the first quarter, how much money do you need to set aside or project that water is going to cost you? Well, a penny times 752,000 is $7,520. So your budget for water in the first quarter will be $7,520. In the second quarter, let's see how this works. Um, would it make sense that ending material inventory 
in the first quarter becomes the beginning material inventory in the second. Okay, so that's 128,000. Again, I'm going to subtract beginning from our needs to find out I need 714,000 ounces of water in the second quarter times a penny an ounce means my budget in the second quarter is going to be $7,140. If I was to continue to do this problem for all four quarters, the check figure for the end of the year says that my, my water budget uh, for purchasing is going to be $36,240. So finish off the material purchases budget and find that check figure.